radiation treatment number one day number three got two days off from it we don't do it on Saturdays and Sundays only Monday through Friday I will go each day next week and then three days the following week um, my lower back and my legs are coming back already thank God for that yeah. at least some of my pain is starting to go away um, I'm hoping that it will be just as effective on my side my rib cage and on my shoulder if it does and I can get that lined out then we'll get back to doing some stuff don't know exactly what we're going to do because of it being winter yard sales are pretty much over with but we'll probably sneak one in here and there but as of right now we're going to the food city pharmacy the um, doctor's office did say that they came through and got me some different insulin that the um, mm, I forgot my I forgot my my belter and it was reminding me so let's put that on and we'll get to moving here um, they did say that they came through with some insulin that my insurance will pay for so that will be a good thing we're gonna go over I should have called to check with them but I didn't because we have to go anyhow and get a few odds and odds and outs ins and outs odds and ends lefts and rights crooked and sideways <laughs> yeah the humor's trying to come back all right Let's go ride one of them little buggies again. We'll see you in a bit. No, I don't want to. There we go. I don't want to. Yeah, I'm going to try to use one of them again. I'm just walking from the car to the to here. Started me in on some hurt. So I'm going to have to do it this way. Shame. I always hated using these things, even the thought of it. I guess I understand it now. Well, okay, the doctor's office called me yesterday. So, oh, we got you all straightened out on your insulin. Got it called in for you, you ready to go. You know, the pharmacy, they haven't gotten anything. Doctor's office ain't open today or tomorrow. I've got enough for tomorrow and Monday, and hopefully they didn't lie to me. If so, then I'm out of insulin. I don't know. I think I chose the wrong establishment to be my doctor's office. I mean, I don't know. I just, I can't figure it out. I don't know if they just don't care about the people. It's supposed to be the number one hospital in the region or in the area or in the eastern United States four years in a row. Most caring hospital. Bull. I ain't seen it. I ain't seen it yet. The only ones that care about you are the cancer centers. They seem to, but the doctors, they don't care about you. All they care about is the almighty dollar anymore. It's a shame. As if I ain't got enough stress, they throw this on to me. Hello, I'm just about back. Um, the footage that you just got through watching was recorded on November the 4th. I'm going to continue on and um, do today to compile a, vi to compile a video for today. 
uh, which was November the 7th. Uh, I'm sorry that I've been gone that long. You know I normally don't do that. I don't like being gone that long. But I have been in great deals of pain. Um, this is going to give a little bit more information about what's going on. There are tumors in my spine that um, have been debated between whether they were just lesions or tumors. They are tumors. They had got grown to the point where they were pressing on nerves that was putting pain in so many portions of my body that I could not function. Uh, all I did for three days is sleep. I'd go to the doc, go to the hospital. Well, Saturday and Sunday, I did nothing but sleep. Okay, um, went back yesterday and got her, took my radiation treatment, and the doctor saw how much pain I was in. She decided to up my pain medicine through this to get me through it and it wound up I was not able to get the pain medication yet because it's pretty substantial pain medicine which you know is harder to get these days but what she did do was she also gave me an anti-inflammatory that has worked wonders compared to what I was. I'm still having some pain, but it's manageable. I can manage. I can I can actually partially function with what I've got going on now. So we're going to take the camera with us today and I'm going to get some more footage and we will get you a video up. Again, I want to apologize for being gone for so long without any information, but I swear I just was unable. I couldn't even do this to the camera. I couldn't even hold it up. The camera would overwhelm me. And this thing don't weigh but nine ounces. Um, but the radiation treatment that we're taking is working on the spots that are giving me the pain. Uh, I'd got to where I couldn't walk almost and two treatments of radiation in the spot that controlled that and I was back to getting around without tears in my eyes. <laughs> yeah, it got that bad. So, alright, we're going to get some more going here. Keep that smile going. Keep the positive outlook. We're going to make it. No matter what that one down there sends at us, that one up there is going to help us fight it. Well, on our way, we encountered a traffic jam accident on Town Mountain Road. So we had to go the long way. We got here only a minute early for the appointment. No parking places. Now, I'm got to go to the ground floor and I'm parked on the eighth floor level real good real good oh well things like that happen well she's done told me I'm in a goofy mood today she said I must be feeling better what do you think I think I am we found out why I slept so much though the pain was giving me a lot of sickness to my stomach, upset stomach. So I took some, two different kinds of, what is it I was taking the, for the nausea? The, <laughs> she can't think of it either. One of them was Fenergan. You know what Fenergan does to you? It makes you go to sleep. Hence, I slept all the time. If it had been for that, I would have been awake. 
Um, the other pill I was taking, I don't know what it is, just some light something for upset stomach. It's a seasick pill is really what it is, I think. But uh, that Farnagan, we figured that out on the way over here today. That Farnagan knocked my butt out for two or three days. That's why I haven't been around, people. <laughs> but I'm back with a vengeance. Nah. I'm back slowly. Well, we, <laughs> we got this chemo done. Or not chemo, this radiation treatment done. One machine broke down on me. Got the first two spots done. Got the positioning for the third one. And just as soon as we got the positioning set up, the computer shut down on them. Lost communications with the rest of the computers. Couldn't go no further. Had to go to a second machine. Got the positioning on the second machine. <laughs> Took forever to get the to the positioning. It takes feels like forever when you're in there hurting. But it's about 15 minutes, so 30 minutes of positioning on one spot. Got the positioning on the sec on the second machine. Got an error came up. They got around the error without losing the data, and were able to go ahead and finish the process. Thank goodness we got that one done. This is the one that's been giving me the pain in my rib cage so bad for so long, and. They're trying to treat it with one treatment so we can go back to doing the short treatments like we've been supposed to do. Or at least get me some relief until we can get back to that spot. But uh, I don't know if I'm going to record anymore. Uh, it's put me in pretty rough shape laying on that table for about an hour and a half. It's got me in pretty rough shape. So naturally, I'm going to lay down and I'm going to take me a nap. Same as I did yesterday. Then I'll be up, should be up for the rest of the night. Uh, all right. If I get more, I'll see you in a minute. If not, I'll see you anyhow <laughs> with the closing. You know what? You know that. You know what I'm talking about. All right. Okay. <laughs> Laying on that table for an hour and a half took a whole lot out of me that was put back in recently or during the last few hours or last 12 hours so I'm gonna go ahead and end this video um, basically this is just to let y'all know I am still here I may take hiatuses like this from time to time but I'm still around I ain't going nowhere so I just want to say y'all have a good evening y'all have a great night and we will see you in tomorrow's video. And God bless. Well, the next video. And God bless.